Hello everybody, and welcome back to MapQuest The Portal Crystals. So today is kind of a little sad of an episode here. We are officially going to get off of the main story quest. From here on out, the adventure is ours to choose. So remember, if you have anything in particular you want me to cover, any area you'd like me to go first, let me know, and I will do my best to get there in a future episode. So essentially, gotta finish this up. So we gotta get into Brookwater Springs, and then that's it, we're done. Ooh, Tom Blacksmith. Ooh. Ooh. That's cool. <laughs> That's cool. I never actually uh, purchase anything in these games from people. It might be beneficial for me too, but uh, no. I never purchase anything from anybody. I'm diverting slightly, and I realize that. Oh well, I think that's all that's up here. So anyways, so we gotta get to... Oh, sorry, I know I just robbed you, my bad. So essentially what we need to do is we need to get back on the main path here. There we go. And, uh, nope, this isn't the main path. The main path is over here. We need to get to the main path. Seven Mages Bank, that'll be handy, another bank. And there it is, there's where we need to go, is over here. So this will lead us to Brookwater Springs. After that, we will be able to access our third teleport hub, and I believe that'll be all that we need. Oh, hey, what up? Ah. Hey, did you know it's a huge tower up the hill? No one lives there, but it's definitely worth checking out. Thank you. Ah. Also, the gate to the left leads to Brookwater Springs, and further on is Everstar Castle. Thank you. I think that's all he has to tell me. All right, let's talk to this guy. We have a dilemma. The lever that opens the gate has broken. The only way to open it is with a new lever. Can you go speak to Arian in house number seven? He built the gate. Please ask him to fix it. Okay, we need to get to... Oh, yeah. Go to Arian house seven. There is house seven. Oh, crap. Officially out of stake. We're gonna survive, we're gonna be just fine. House number six. House number 16, that, that's a hell of a jump. No, but that's the bank, I don't need the bank. I need house number, oh, number seven. Yo, dog. Hi. I would like to enter the gate. The guard said the lever is broken and he has asked. Oh no, this is terrible. My reputation is going downhill. Um, huh, my cobweb proof. Oh, his, oh, you're the, okay. He built that bridge. Please take this lever to the gates. All right, okay. That was relatively straightforward. There we go, we're in. Now. Oh, there it is. While you're here, you should look for the teleport hub near the church. Once you have used it, the teleport all, all teleport hubs across lands will be unlocked, making travel easier. Good luck. We will meet again. Thank you, Tarman. Tamron. Oh, what's this? Oh, new quest log. Now you have open Brookwater Springs, the world is open for you to travel freely. Use the teleport hubs to move around the map, or explore the map at your own pace. Main quest, find 7 code fragments and at least 15 portal crystals. Go to the vault and enter the portal realm, save your brother. So that's it. We are officially 
off the main story quest. The world is our oyster, and we can explore it at our leisure. But I have one area in particular that I would like to explore first. For you see, we're actually very near a code fragment. Um, this will actually be our first code fragment. Ooh, money. There we go. We're actually very near a code fragment. Our first two code fragments actually we should be very close to. They're actually up there in the Seven Mage Tower. Which I think is like the coolest building in this game. Let's get over there. There's also a couple of portal crystals very near us as well. I think there's one for sure in the Seven Mage Village. I'll have to do a little bit of off-camera camera exploration to confirm that. Mage Tower 2. Or Mage Tower... 2, yes. 2. There's not actually much... I don't believe there's very much in this tower, but there is, you know... <coughs> broken legs. There's broken legs in this tower. Oh, never noticed this before. Huh. Neat. But no, I believe there's a little bit of loot up here, so we're gonna just gonna really quick go grab that. Because, you know, loot and shit, man. It's important stuff. It's best stuff. Um, here we go. I don't know what kind of sadistic monster built this thing, but it is definitely built for broken kneecaps. Eh, I don't need the milk. I say that, and there's a portal crystal with nothing but poison spiders. So, there's a portal to a code fragment by an old adventurer, the dude who we bought our house from. No way! Another entry, even though I am a mage, I feel the pain. All the magic in the world can't cure my old age. My leg is not up to the journey once... My leg is not up to the journey it once was. It is time to leave this place. I have left a code fragment in Tower 4, if I remember. It could be in Tower 2, though. Anyways, my point is, the chest is locked, and the and the key is in the main tower behind a sheep face. So we need to get to the main tower. Oh no! Yeah. Nice! Calculated! <laughs> uh, Alright, so we need to find the main tower here. Don't remember which one's the main tower. Well, let's just follow the signs. That was easy. Main tower this way. Uh, main towers are this way. Main tower ahead. Followed the path. Ah, oh, main tower. Old adventurer, I see you bought my house in Stonewall Village. Yes, I am the old missing adventurer you probably keep hearing about. A boot. In truth, I am actually one of the seven mages who saved this world long ago. I was the one responsible for overseeing the ongoing protection of this planet, and to make certain the barrier would hold forever. Unfortunately, breaches like the one that sucked your brother in were an unavoidable side effect. Anyways, now that you're here, go f for the key in the tower behind the sheep's head. Remember, behind the sheep's head, the key. I unlocks a chest in the bottom of Tower 4. There I placed the code fragment. I also hid one in Tower 6. Tower 6 is in ruins, but I will unseal it for you. I would... You also need a pickaxe. Yes! A pickaxe. I'm already past that point. So we need to find a sheep's head. Oh, not one here. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. I think it's all the way up at the top, if I remember correctly. Uh, nope, no sheep said here. Um, nope, not here. It's not here, but ooh. Glass bottles. Raw salmon. Very nice. Well, I don't really need. Anyways, onward. <laughs> um, no, this just uh, is the skyway to the other towers. 
Damn, Mick had to put this thing all the way at the top, didn't he? Um, Sheep's head. Here we go. Old man's drops note. Place the code magnet in the basement of Tower 4. I hit another in Ruin 6. I should remember to go to Zyra's house in Haybell Village to get a pickaxe to break the iron ore that blocked... Okay, yes, note to myself. Yay! So, let's get to the next tower then. We need tower... Note to myself. Tower... Four. Let's go to tower four. This is tower four this way. Oh, shh. Now, in truth, I don't really remember which one's Tower 4. Oh, I guess there's only one path, so that's convenient. Uh, tower 4. Okay. Um, I think he said the basement of Tower 4? Yes, basement of Tower 4. Very good. Oh, hey, look, a chest. Nice. Money. There's a chest down there. We. Oh! Where the hell did I respawn? Oops. Whoops! I kind of goofed that one a little. Oh yeah, I most definitely goofed that one really bad. Okay, okay. Don't hold shift. I forget. I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> oh man, I really want to do a no death run through this so badly. Just do this on super hardcore mode. Try not to die. But it's it's stuff like that that would end up killing me, which which has just killed me. All right, yeah, serious time now. Ah, uh, god, that's good stuff. Oh, and I think it's worth mentioning here, while I've got some of your attention at this point, uh, to the people who watch my Factorio series. Sorry, it's a little it's a little put on hold currently. <sighs> oh, yep, locked, and... I found one of the seven code fragments. When you go back, your vault code will automatically be entered. You can throw this code away. Okay, code fragment A I don't need, and I don't need the key. Okay, so I don't need to use that drop point anymore. If anything, I can now go to tower six. Um, eh, whatever. I didn't really feel like navigating. Nice. Okay, now we need Tower 6, and that'll be our first two code fragments. So remember, we need seven of these in total to actually open up the portal. Mage Tower ahead. Where's the ruins? There's the ruins of, uh, 6. Good thing we have pickaxe. I could go around exploring the rest of the mage towers, but uh, not really necessary for what we're doing here. See that? Right there? That symbol? Code fragment. Is that it? Nope, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for iron ore. Or a... Oh, there it is. There we go. Of course. Soulless walkers. <sighs> that was easy. Diary. What does it say? Oh, right. Illusions and stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, right. This is cool. This is actually really cool. Check it. Whee! So cool. Ow. Arrows are going to be important for this. I don't remember why, but they are. That's why they're important. Fan one activated. Which will get me over to here where I can activate fan two. Ow. Raise me up here. Thank you. Then, oh, we can use a hint if we so choose. Nope, I thought that one was a long shot. Oh, there's the illusion. Whee! Then, Iron Gate has opened. Pull out the rusty pickaxe again. So that's now open. And then... There we go. Gently down. And then spiders. I hate spiders. Spiders are easily my least favorite mob in the game. Now, oh, hmm, better kill this thing. I think that's a good idea. Oh, these mods are so cool. Drop the stone button. And I feel like I just missed something. Oh. That is so cool. Alright, I've looked at the code fragment. I don't need it anymore. And then, quick way out. And we're done! So, I think I'm going to end the episode here. It's just going to be me getting out of here at this point, and that's kind of boring. But uh, when we come back next time, um, at this point, there's no plan. We're just going to begin tracking down portal crystals, exploring the... Hmm. Yes, we're going to track down portal crystals. We're going to begin exploring the land. Oops. And at 15 for the crystals, we'll do the first. We'll do the first ending, and then when we get all 39, we'll do the second ending. But that is all the time I have for now, guys. Until next time, this has been Bleaker. Be seeing ya. Mm -hmm.